new spinach, wearing, I'm wearing his spinach. So, this is a Pop Figures mystery box. Pop Figures, I think are renowned in the UK for being very good company. Um, every once in a blue moon, people moan. My light's turned in a minute, hang on a sec. Might help out in the pops, who knows. Um, yeah, every once in a blue moon, people moan, but I've only bought a couple of things off them. They've been pretty good, and their retail price is actually probably better than Pop in a Box. So they're consistently about eight or nine pound. But I can't remember how much postage is. What I would like with Pop in a Box is if they give you um, free postage instead of ten percent off, because they quite often have offers on. So your ten percent doesn't apply as well as the offer, I think, or very rarely. I don't think they do. I think their offers quite often override your 10%, which is annoying, and then you pay postage on top. Pop in a box about a year and a half ago, I never paid postage as a subscriber on the subscription boxes. You had to if you bought individually. But I would be more inclined to buy a pop in a box if, when they have offers on, I was getting free postage as a subscriber. So if by any chance they watch this, that's, that would probably mean I'd buy far more off you. But at the minute, Pop Figures seems to be a good place to go because they are quid or two cheaper and they ship in soft protectors at least and they have a lot of grails and stuff and in general they apparently are quite caring but anyway this was a mystery box mystery yeah mystery box I think it was an American stickered pop I think it was 21 two pound I think with postage it would probably be more, but I bought a second pop with it, so I got free postage, because if you spend £30, you get free postage, so I spent about £30, maybe £31. Um, yeah, and I thought, why not? I'll try my luck. I don't normally do mystery boxes that aren't pop in a box, that aren't subscription-based, that aren't something you can kind of thumbs up, thumbs down, decide what you want. But I thought, hey, I might get Grail. Rare, very small chance, but it'll be fun to do. And it was guaranteed, I think, Fifteen pound or twenty pound, so you were getting. It was either seventy-five or ninety percent of your money back. I cannot remember. Um, oh yeah, and the difference was, I think that was guarantee. Aside from the fact they are, they've just had their own hard stacks made, and these include one of their hard stacks. So the pop, whatever pop you got, whether it was common American stickered pop or a decent one, it came in a hard stack, which I think retail at a tenner. So you were getting your fifteen pound, I think. I think that was it. You're getting fifty pound, and you're getting a ten pound house. So either way, you were getting more than what you were um, spending, basically. So it wasn't guaranteed in terms of pop price, but by the time you put the hard stack on, you're good. And if, of course, you're hitting anything half decent, then you're winning. Um, so yeah, let's start off with the pop that I bought just to push it up over thirty pound. Pop figures have their own kind of like sort of boxes, which is really cool because two layers of protection. Let's get him out. Say him because obviously I know what it is because I bought it. I've told you many times before, I hate soft protectors, but such is life. People out there, I love them. I hate them. Again, pop figures have their own. I'll get it out of the box in a sec, see if I can show you better. They have their own soft protectors. Um, yeah, I have. Pop in a box exclusive Pinocchio. I have Jimny Cricket, not that one. So I don't have either of these Pinocchios as Jimny, but I have the two exclusives that come from Pop in a Box. They are very much cooler than these. Um, so yeah, I wanted Geppetto. And I am very tempted by Figaro because he's pretty cool. The Blue Fairy, I don't even remember her, her in Pinocchio. I don't remember the cat either, to be quite honest. It's been a long time since I've seen Pinocchio when I was a kid. I used to have it on there. VHS kiddies um, yeah but I think Figaro looks really cool and the Pinocchio and Jimny I got is really cool and I think just for an old man pop this dude is cool Geppetto let's get him out anyway in fact let's take off the soft protector first and then we'll get him out let's see if I can open this bad boy I should really sell these soft protectors because I just kind of gather them. They're only about quid each, though, aren't they? So, I need something dark to put behind it. I need to stop knocking my microphone. Ba -ba 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 -ba.
not dark. It's not dark. Anyway, my studio, by the way, if you don't already know. I'm a stills photographer, not a videographer. I just do this for shits and giggles. None of you watch it, so I don't know why, but I do. Plot figure sticker, it's quite normal. With the old plot figures. But you're not going to see dilly flops through there because there's too much detail. But you have to trust me. That little emboss pen that you can see, if I stop hitting the microphone, here's the pop figures logo. There you go, you can kind of see if I just catch the light right. Anyway, soft protectors, another quid. As I said, it probably cost me eight or nine pound. It probably cost me 31 pound for the whole box, which means I got free postage. I had no intention of collecting the Pinocchios, but because I got um, Pinocchio and Jiminy from Thumbs and Up on Pop in a Box, and I really liked them as characters because Jiminy's jumping and Pinocchio's got a massive nose, obviously, with Jimmy sitting on the end. Jiminy sitting on the end. It, they were just really cool characters. And again, he looks ace, just the detail on him. So I thought I may as well add him into the Pinocchio collection. No, I'm not collecting. But hey. So here he is, accordion and all. I love his glasses. They are funky. Just great detail on this pop. It's just an awesome character. We like. But the reason you are here, all three of you, is for the mystery box. So, I think I did pretty well. It's not grail, but I did well. I certainly got my money's worth before adding on the hard stack according to the pop directory I will have another look where I put my phone there it is but we got scented summer stitch with hot topic sticker in hard stack it's magnetic top so it's not too bad actually it kind of takes your weight oh maybe not so there you go we've got magnetic top these are actually quite nice for stackers. I'm tempted to keep the stack. They're nicer than uh, some hard stacks I've seen. But again, I'm not one for protecting my pops. I have them out of the way, so they don't really get battered. And I think they look far better out of the box. But this is a nice stack. I'll, I'll give pop figures their due. Good stacks. But by the time you buy a ten pound pop, which obviously won't be a ten pound pop if you're sticking in the hard stack, and then you're putting ten pound on top of that, you're paying a lot of money, and it's needless cost that I have no interest in paying, to be quite honest. But here we are. It works as a display case. Aside from that, if you wanted to do it differently, you could put pop in there out of the box if you wanted and have it as a display case. Anyway, in fact, let's do that because it'll get in the way. Let's put Geppetto with his tiny bit of rubbish paint on, as is standard for Funko. Quality control. Let's get Stitch out of the box. Scented, probably shouldn't get him out of the box because I'm going to sell him, but we're going to do it. <laughs> so, it smells of. Perfume and plastic. But yeah, he is a cool pop, to be fair. Um, it doesn't tell you what flavour it's supposed to be, I don't think. Let's check him out on a, a TPD because I think last time I checked he was £22, but that was for the special edition sticker, I believe. That was an average price for Summer Stitch, opposed to Hot Topic Stitch. And I said you get a free hard case, which is worth a tenner anyway. And I paid about £22 for the box, I believe. So, as suggested, I have made my money back just on the pop alone. Mm -mm -mm -mm, TPD. 
I may put it on the screen, it might be easier, but while we are here, summer stitch. So, summer stitch is £22 still. He has a Hot Topic um, sticker in the picture, but everything that is on eBay for about £20. Yeah, they're looking for about £20 on eBay. But they are special edition, special edition, special edition. They're all special edition stickers. Um, Hot Topic stickers you are having to order from US specifically. And then, yeah, again, they they start at between 15 and 20 pound, but then you got 10 or 15 pound postage if you order from the US. I do not see any Hot Topic stickers from UK sellers. So, yeah, they are selling between the 17 and 20 pound mark for a special edition sticker. Average, obviously, 22 pound, as said. Hot Topic sticker, I reckon I can get my money back. If I put it in a hard case, I'll definitely get my money back. So, I did pretty well, because I at least guaranteed my value, and then probably a 10 on top. Happy day. So, good start for Pop Figures. I know some people weren't happy with what they got, but I'm quite content with that. Anyway, and on that note, we'll put him back away so he doesn't lose his scent, because... He doesn't fit my collection, and I will sell him. I have plenty of Lilo's because she's got the camera, so they're in my studio of her holding the camera. But as cool of a character as Stitch is, I won't be keeping him. I need to recoup that £20 to spend elsewhere because I will spend it on pops. Okay, bye-bye.